everyone and welcome back to my channel thanks so much for joining me today i am super excited because today i'm going to be unboxing the glossy box advent calendar and i got sent this yesterday and i thought i've got to film it now but if i don't see my usual self i have just got back from the orthodontist where they tightened my braces and it is the worst pain i've ever felt and that isn't even an exaggeration like the worst pain i have ever felt in my life so I can't really speak, I'm in pain, but I want to film this for you guys because I'm excited to open it and hopefully it will take my mind off the pain. This is the Glossy Box calendar, it is their first ever calendar, it's called the All I Want. It's tied with a beautiful ribbon and just got the Glossy Box details on the back. And this is so big, like, if this doesn't even look that big on camera, it is so big compared to some of the other ones. It's so heavy, so if you're thinking of maybe getting it and then sending it to someone, I would send it straight to them because it is so, so heavy. It would it will cost fortunes, but it's so heavy. So this is it, guys. So this one is, let me get my details. Uh, it's got 25 products, includes 17 full size. It's worth over 300 pounds. It launches on the 15th of October. Subscribers get priority access, exclusive discount. So it's available to buy for £99 and free delivery. And if you are a subscriber, it's available for £75. So maybe worth signing up to Glossy Box if you maybe thought about it already because you're saving like nearly, yeah, you're saving like £20, which I think their boxes are £10 each. So you're going to get like two extra boxes. So it could be worth signing up. If you guys fancy signing up for the priority access and the discount, I'll pop a link in the description box okay. below. I found something on the web for only really 20 pounds, which I think two extra boxes. Take a look. Siri is talking to me. That's weird. Okay. Uh, that's so weird. What the hell? I didn't say. Okay. What? Okay, that freaked me out. Yeah, train of thought. I'll pop the link in the description box if you want to sign up to Glossy Box and all the details on the calendar as well. This is it. Let's open it up. Oh my god, I just love this. It is so exciting. I love when brands make a lot of effort. Okay, so inside you've got like, you know, like, what? Ooh, it's so big. I told you guys. So on this side, you've got kind of words like happiness, love, beauty, confidence, and then just this side, we've got a little sneaky 25 one here. So let's pull it out. So one thing to know about this one is, again, it's a box design, but they have little tiers here. So if you pull the boxes out, they're not going to fall out for once. Yay. So number one is just this cardboard little box. It's got one on it. It says glossy box. So it's quite a cute, normal design. And it also has sort of, uh, paper shredding in the inside and this one so exciting this is a NARS um, velvet lip glide in burning love I already have one of these not this color I got it in the Harvey Nichols gift of purchase earlier this year and I loved it it was a light pink color it goes on so smooth so I'm really interested in getting another color I think this one is bigger than the one I have so let's see what color that is <gasps> That is gorgeous. For me, I love reds and I love uh, like my vibrant pinks. So like that's so gorgeous. If you are more of a nudey person, they do have one in the nude and it's so beautiful. That's the one that I do have. That is really, really nice. So, oh, so excited for that. That is an amazing number one. Two is up here. Again, just a plain box with a number on it and more stuffing inside this is a nip and fab dragon's blood fixing serum i've tried this before i really like nip and fab as a skin brand uh i think a lot of you'll see it as a younger skin brand but i actually really like it so 30 milliliters for this. this is a really lovely serum so a skincare product number three is so heavy and so big another like plain box <gasps> oh what is this this is a Yankee Candle. How nice is that? 104 grams. It's quite a little cute size. And this is in the fragrance. Um, oh, it's a festive one. Season of Peace. That's quite nice, actually. It's quite fresh. Not, I wouldn't say it's not that Christmassy, actually. Maybe it does. I don't know. So that is a Yankee Candle. Amazing. I love my candles. I love my Yankee Candles. So excited. Number four is 
a very shiny box. And inside we have Philip Kingsley. And it's not the elasticizer. Woo woo! It is a bodybuilding conditioner for fine, limp, or flyaway hair types. I think you get the elasticizer in like every beauty box advent calendar ever. So it's nice to have a little bit of a different Philip Kingsley product. I love how big these are. I like how big everything is. It's just so grand and like, you know, even if it's small inside, it's like, whoa, it's like gorgeous. Oh my god, these are like so insanely packed. Oh my god. What is this? This is so much stuffing. What is this? This is an MDM greater than mascara. It is quite a fine brush. I've tried this before, I can't really actually remember what I thought of it, it was that long ago. But it's supposed to be really good. So that's a full size mascara. Six is a lip primer. Let's have a little look. It's a cute little lip primer and that's like a little 10 milliliters. Let's see if it's clear. Yeah, it's clear. Does this do? I reckon it's just sort of, I guess, primes as a perfect base for lipstick. Provides a smooth matte finish and lasting colour. Oh, yeah, lasting colour. So that's intriguing. I've never tried that. And that's like another makeup item, so that's really cool. Number seven is a patisserie de balm. I can't say that. Strawberry cupcake, a bath and shower cream. Let's give this a smell. Oh, it's so sweet. If you like, like a sweet bath smell, then that is for you. It's a really, really sweet strawberry. Okay, number eight is... A Real Technique Full Size, I think this is the face brush, Expert Foundation Brush, how good is that? Real Techniques are great brushes, so it's a good foundation brush. Mine is Charles Worthington Volume and Bounce Body Booster Mousse, and this is a 50 mils. I've never tried that. They're little takeaways, they're little minis. So that's cute. I haven't tried that before. Hair Minerals Skin lo skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion. This I've tried. This was in a few Arvin calendars last year. This is a 75 ml. It's a really lovely like serum type product. Very nice. Okay, this is a Bella PR Kiss Proof Lip Finish. Never seen this. Never tried this. What are you? This is like a clear kind of lip gloss so I think this sort of sits makes them glossy and prevents colour transfer so a little bit like the lip primer but just you put it on on top so another lip product so we've actually got like three lip products so far okay number 12 where is 12 oh my god it is like the biggest you guys must watch this and be like how can she not see number 12 it's like it's the biggest thing it's like staring right at you this is so hard. I don't know. Oh wow, what's this? Number 12 is an MUA makeup palette and I can't get the sticker off so we'll probably not open it. Um, it's kind of like lots of purples and like pinks. Very autumnal. Very, very purpley. Like that isn't really an everyday palette. Unless you like your brights, so it's a little bit of a mixture. This 13 is a Charcoal Age Defense Cognac Sponge for Balance Combination Skin. So let's like let's open this up and get a look at this. Ooh, I have tried a cognac sponge before, as you can see. I like a really great sponge for cleansing. Is what are you? This is this is this is this is. Uh, I don't know what this is. This is a Refibra Hair Care. Have you guys heard of that brand? I haven't. Uh, concentrated Restoring Mask. And where is this made? Made in Italy, so maybe it's like an Italian hair care brand because I haven't heard of that. Let me know if you guys have heard of that. 15 is an Incredible Jelly Shot. I don't know what this is. A lip quencher. So Incredible is... The Nails Ink uh, makeup brand. Some of it's quite nice that I've tried so far. I like their lip products. So what is this? Oh, oh wow, it's got oh, oh it's got like a flower in it. You guys need to see this. Look, can you see that? It's got a flower inside. So cute. So it must just be like a 
kind of like a lip balm. Oh, I don't want to use it, it's so pretty. It's called X Revenge. It's actually really cute. I really like one of their lip, uh, kind of like a lip gloss, like lip stain that they do. So that's nice. Number 16. So as I said, this is the first year Glossy Box have done a calendar. And if you don't know, Glossy Box actually got bought out, uh, bought out or bought, acquired, whatever you want to call it, this year from the Hot Group. If you don't know the Hot Group, uh, own Look Fantastic, they own like Illamasqua, Espa. So I feel like I was really intrigued to see this calendar because I'd love, I wanted to see how different it was going to be from the Look Fantastic one. And going forwards, I'd love to see how the beauty box kind of progresses and how different it will be from the Look Fantastic one. I think that'll be really interesting. If you guys already get Gloss Box, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Okay, so this is number, what number are we on? 16 and it's a Pop Beauty uh, Pure Pigment. So the little pigment tab. 17 and this is a Lux Luxie Beauty brush and it's a tapered highlighter. Ooh, I wondered why it's bent but I think it's meant to be. I think, I guess so. 18 is Fluid Glowy Lollipops Paris. What are you? A face liquid highlighter and this is a, made in Italy but it sounds like a French brand. I've never heard of Lollipops before. Oh wow, it's like got a colour to it. got like pigment to it if you guys can see that and then but when you rub it in it is quite natural it's like here so it's quite shimmery but um it does have like a slight tan to it that's actually really nice it's not like mega creamy it's just like really really nice and subtle oh i haven't heard of this brand i'll have to check it out because that's really lovely 19 is crabtree and evelyn rose water and pink peppercorn hand cream and that is a 25 mils but it's a really cute little size for your handbag number 20 is this looks like full size of steve loren and this is what are you this looks like a ooh, lip gloss yep lip gloss this looks really dark wow that is dark that's really vibrant that's actually maybe a little too dark for me i'm i'm quite scared by that it's called Eggplant. The colour is called Eggplant if you want to look it up. Number one, Pixie. My fave, I love Pixie. Okay, what is this? This is a fresh face blush in peach rose. Why is everything totally stuck with plastic? So this is a powder blush. And it's quite a natural colour, but I'd say that it's quite dark. I would think that's actually too dark for me. So it's quite um it's quite a dark blush. 22 is Zelen's Transformer Instant Renewal Mask. So another skincare brand and a mask. 23 is what's 23? Oh, this is cool. Full size Eye Cool London Fat Eye Stick Stain. I've never seen this before. So it's like a eyeshadow. So that is it there, this one. So that's actually quite pretty. It's kind of got like silvery purple tones to it. So that's actually quite nice. I like that. Okay, 24. How cool is this? This is like a little shelfy. You could use this for like your skincare or something. Okay, 24 is Christmas Eve and it's a Mitchell and Peach Fine Radiance Face Oil. I haven't heard of that brand. It looks quite natural to me because of the ingredients. So it's like coconut oil and rose oil, vanilla oil and loads of very natural oils. So I'll have to look up a bit more about them. But that is a face oil. And that is it! Joking! We still have 25. <laughs> I know what this is already but I'm excited! I'm so excited. How am I going to get this out? Okay. Number 25. Come on! I'm so excited for this. Okay, this is the Huda Beauty Winter Solstice Palette. Oh, I knew this was in this, and I was like, this is like the best item. So this is basically a full size palette. This is worth like forty quid. So if you think if you got this for seventy five, the rest of the contents would be worth like thirty five pounds. It's kind of worth it. So let's have a look. <gasps> Oh no, oh my god, you guys, it's happened again. 
It's broken. Oh my god, this happened to me again. I have the worst luck with advent calendars, so if you'd seen already, I won't say what it was, but an item in the Look Fantastic calendar was broken. And oh my god, it's happened again. I am so gutted. Like, I'm actually, like, so gutted about that because I was so excited for this. <sighs> this is so annoying. But anyway, let's swatch it anyway. So, if it was not broken, you would have three powder highlights and a cream highlight. So I'm going to swatch them. Ignore the eye stick, so it's that second one down. So it's like a really shimmery cream that's actually nice but it's got like quite a pinky glow okay the one is broken arctic glow is wowzers that is so this is that one it's like purpley then we've got northern lights which oh wow that is like yellow actually these are quite vibrant they're like actually maybe a bit much for me and then winter rose which i'll put up here oh wow these are really strong but gorgeous like pink that pink at the top, can you guys see that, this one? That's really pretty. They are so strong though. I actually think the cream one is probably the best one. And I know with this palette what you can do is, I'm actually terrified that's going to drop and go everywhere. Um, what you can do is you can put the cream one on first and then put the powder on top of it and it's supposed to be like such a vibrant highlight. But you know that's not everyone's daily, a daily routine. So yeah, they're very vibrant. I feel like that one's probably the most natural but they are strong, like you wouldn't want to like go too crazy on that unless, you know, that's your thing. I want to hear what you guys think, so let me know in the comments what you think of this calendar. What was your favourite item? What would you use the most from it? Would you pick this one up? And if it's not for you, then remember I do have a blog post with every calendar for this year. I've linked it below, I've linked it up here in the cards, so you can go and check that out. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you hit subscribe, because the next calendar I'm going to be unboxing is the Elemis Advent calendar, and that's going to be very, very soon, so you don't want to miss it. So I will see you then. Bye! Bye.